quality teams, Craig, in class or uh, six-man football. Well, let's start off with the defending state champions, the Coyotes of Borden County, taking on those Bears from Balmeray, as those two would do battle in Kermit as they got ready. And, of course, Borden County had the one loss to Grand Falls earlier, but on a roll now, and certainly reason for the band members to cheer. And any time Colt McCook's in action, reason to cheer if you're a Borden County fan. Look at the play fake. Then he finds Ryan Grant for the touchdown there. At that point, it's 16-0 BC on top. Balmeray does respond. Joshua Garcia, tough running there. Garcia takes it home, and the Bears back in this contest at 16-6, and their fans fired up and looking for Balmeray to make a comeback. But after that, it is all Borden County, the machine that works. The run there, Fernando Baeza. Tough running, takes it down to the pylon in 24-6 at that point. And then it's Colt McCook going one more time, this time to Fernando Baeza, his favorite target, McCook. With the direct snap, nice play fake, on the roll, and he'll hang it up there. There's Baeza to run under it. Borden County makes this look easy. The mercy rule goes into effect. The Coyotes send the Bears packing the final 70 to 24, second straight year that Borden County is in the six man Texas Bowl. All right, with that win, Borden County would await the winner of the second semifinal ball game from six man. We're talking about the Trinidad Trojans and the Greyhounds from Strawn High School. This one earlier this evening, let's take you out there, check out the highlights of this one. Into the first half, Dustin Tart. He's going to let it fly, folks, to James Cherry downfield. Wide open, Trinidad up 54-32 at the half. Yes, an offensive shootout earlier tonight. Second half now, Damian Jackson, the All-Stater, rambling for his fifth touchdown of the evening right at our photographer. Started the Trojan blowout. It was 60-32 at that point. Let's move on now. Third quarter, Cherry will get the call once again. And... Coming up, it's Terry going to his favorite target. From his favorite target, it's Tar. Trojans working, looking for the mercy rule as well. That goes into effect at that point. 68-32. All Trinidad tonight blowing out the Greyhounds from Strawn High School. Again, there's your final score of 88 to 40. And as Craig mentioned, Borden County's a win, a winner tonight. They will meet Trinidad in the six-man championship. And we do want to mention that this one is set up for uh, Brownwood. Next week, next as, Saturday. As they will get together in Brownwood. Meanwhile, as the state championship matchup is set for the Texas Bowl. Behind Damian Jackson, six touchdowns. The Trojans defeat the Greyhounds in the state semifinal game. Joining us now is head coach Kevin Ray. Coach Strawn usually plays you pretty tough, but tonight you're able to play your game. Well, they played us tough again, and, and uh, I give them a lot of credit. They played us as tough as we expected. And... Uh, our hats go off to them, and we're just happy that we got the win. Can't say enough about Damian Jackson and what he does for this team. He's incredible. He's a great athlete. He helps on offense and defense. A lot of people overlook his defensive abilities, but uh, he's, just, he's just a super athlete. All of them are. You will play Borden County in the state finals. They won tonight as well. What do you know about this team? What do you think about your early thoughts about this team? Well, one thing is I know that they won the state championship last year. So, um, you know, having been there once and having won it once is it, going to definitely give them an edge going into the game. Okay, Coach, good luck to you next week. Thank you. Thanks very much. The Trojans win the state semifinal game. They'll go to the finals next week. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, thank you very much, Chris Tynan. Trinidad and Borden County, it's the mm -hmm. matchup so many folks wanted to see. Colt McCook versus Damian Jackson in Brownwood next Saturday. What a Texas Bowl matchup that should yeah, be. That's going to be a hot ticket next week. Still more to come on High School Extra Live. We move up the classification ladder. Class A will take a look at the 1A state quarterfinals. And High School Extra Live continues the Week 14 edition. Afternoon, the high school extra lies. Bud Smith was there to view it all. The Coats were ready to make it two in a row from the get go in the first quarter. Second play of the game. Borden County's Fernando Blazer gets around the end and then sprints to the zone for a 43 yard touchdown. The Cows up 8 0 after the kick. With Borden County up 10 0 in the second quarter, Trinidad finally gets on the scoreboard. Damian Jackson slashes and scores from 15 yards out. Trinidad only down by two after the two-point conversion. 
The Colts keep the pressure on, though. Colt McCook scrambles and then goes to the air. For Kevin Pinkerton, that score in the second would make it 16-8 after the missed kick. But before the Colts fans could sit down after cheering, Damian Jackson is on the loose again, folks. He jukes here and there, then turns on the burners. 74 yards up the sideline for six. That return seemed to let the steam out of the defending champs. As for Trinidad, they just get stronger and stronger, especially Damian Jackson. Jackson finishes the day with five touchdowns and 330 all-purpose yards. What a year for him and the Trojans as they knock off Borden County in the 1998 six-man state title game by the score of 62-16. to 16. Hey, hey. Well, congratulations to Kevin Ray and the uh, Trinidad Trojans on capturing the school's first ever six-man state champion. Yeah, terrific season, by the way, for Damian Jackson. We're going to take one last break on the high school extra live. Craig and I will be right back to wrap it up. Stay with us.